All right, I'm Tyler, this is Alex, Adam, Dawson, and Bradley, and we are proposing the elimination of reading X for AP Lang and AP Lit students. With the workload that is already given, um, it just seems like it takes up so, uh, another book, but just add on to that. So if you are following the regular English track for junior senior year, uh, junior, year junior year you'll cover books like Great Gatsby and When Crickets Cry, in your senior year, you'd have Frankenstein, Definitely Not Proud. Um, the total number of books you will read would be nine books. For the AP track, including AP Lang and AP Lit, talked by Mr. Small and Mrs. Kett, in AP Lang you'd read approximately nine books, in AP Lit you'd read approximately six, so 15 in total. For AP Lang you'd read about over 3,000 pages in that one year, compared to regular English, which is just under 1,000. So there's a huge difference there already. And for AP Literature, you read about 1,560. For regular English, you read about uh, 1,100 pages. So there's a big difference there already. And AP students are already put under a lot of pressure from these books. And we think that if this was eliminated, it would really help them succeed more in such. So our goal in eliminating reading X for the AP students for AP Literature and AP Language is to give them more free time to focus on other other AP classes that they're taking and to get ready for college as many juniors and seniors are. And this also gives a little bit less of a load on their strenuous high school careers. So while the purpose of reading next is to get people out of their comfort zones and then to get them to read more, AP classes are already doing these things with the countless amounts of books that we're reading junior year especially, and the countless amounts of literature circles that we do, which are basically the same thing class. So with your all's help, we can lessen the stress of our AP students by eliminating three and X. Thanks for hearing our proposal. We're open for questions. I'm going to ask the first question because I'm going to go and get you guys a little bit left. So my understanding of one of the things that is different about reading X is you get to choose, whereas in the classes that you're mentioning, you don't have a lot of choice, you have to read those things. How would you respond to that? Or it, it, it's a choice thing. And it's not necessarily a comfort zone or as much as it is, letting you read something that you want. Well, we disagree generally. Even if you can't choose a book, you're limited to a certain range. And even so, having to read a book is another stressful additive. And really think the choice doesn't matter as much as the stress it gives to read it. Even if it's a book you really want to read, it's still going to take time out of your day. Yeah. And I think you're kind of, you're choosing to take that AP. So you you know like that you're going to read those certain amount of books and which books are. And my daughter reads like nine books a week, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, but couldn't I say the same? You so. chose to take those AP classes knowing we've got reading X, and if one more book is going to put that much pressure on you, then maybe you could choose not to take the AP class? We believe the AP class is more beneficial. In what way? In what way, because it's preparing you for college, you can get college credit. You're reading lots of books in that class anyway. So something that doesn't give you college credit doesn't have value? Not necessarily, but I think it has more value. It does. And so why does one mean you have to eliminate the other? Well, we just believe it's better off. Okay. Let me ask you this. Um, do you have AP assignments over Christmas break? Not, not a push. AP lit or AP lang assignments over Christmas break? She did. Okay. So you get your reading X assignment before Christmas break, and you're not going to finish until after Christmas break. Would it be possible for you to read your book over Christmas break when you have two weeks of nothing else to do, no other stressful activities going on? I'll jump in. I'll jump in. I mean, if you were to, I mean, my personal opinion, you, you're calling a Christmas break, and you're proposing us to do a school assignment over the break. I think many students would agree that that takes away from the break for more of our time. So I would, I would say that's not a very good point to say the break is time. It is time, but it's time for us to do what we would prefer to do over the time. Well, you're not, we're not saying you have to read it then. You could read it other times, but if you were so stressed out by the addition of one more book, then you know, knowing yourself and your attitude, you may choose to put it in a time that you don't have something else going on. Well, certainly you could do that. I mean, technically, we could fill up every hour of the day doing extra assignments and stuff, and we do time effects. But we feel that that's an added stress on students, and we don't think it's necessary. We don't think it's... The idea of reading is to inspire students to read, correct? And we already think that they have that inspiration in them if they're taking AP classes. 
I mean, they already are. But do you once read for fun, or are you only reading what the teacher says? You have to read this because it's an AP class. Most students don't find reading textbooks fun to begin with, so mm -hmm. it's kind of just like another <coughs> school book. Let me ask you this. Have you done any research at college um, level to see how many books are particularly read in literature classes? I'm I mean, I can just off the top of my head remember one particular class where I had 18 novels in one semester in one class. So if we are here to prepare you for college, wouldn't it be better for you to get us to jump on having to do that much stuff instead of waiting till college and have you even more stressed out to do a higher amount? Well, I, we're not eliminating it totally. Like, this is just for the AP yeah. students. I'm just, so, I'm just saying, you yeah, know, like, making a point too. Yeah, but like also, um, I mean, obviously none of us have been to college or anything, but Right now, we're going through, you know, sports, and we're doing other clubs and stuff like that. So there's, I know in college you might have a job or whatever, but in high school, I think there are some additional factors that um, play into less time and stuff like, and more stress. You know, like a fraternity, or like uh, English society, or like. Not only a job, but there's other things in college too that will take a lot of time. I, I just wanted you to think about things like that too, because I know it is busy here in high school, and you do have more time in between classes than college. But there are a lot of like extracurricular things that you can do in college too. So just kind of escape that. I mean, I know I personally use a lot of my freer time working on college applications, researching all of that, doing visits. So, I mean, there's a lot of value in having time to where you can really choose, like, I mean, a lot of kids will choose beneficial things, like college preparation. So. Well, let's talk logistics. So, I get what you're saying about not having to read it outside, but there's actually a, what, 45-minute time period within a day. What are we doing with those AP students during those 45 minutes that they're not participating in reading it? They can be given a study hall where they can work on their other AP classes because generally most students that are taking AP literature or AP language are also taking multiple other AP classes. Okay, my only concern with that is we literally use every classroom and every teacher for reading X. So like space-wise, it's even a logistical issue. Well, with the amount of students in AP language and AP literature, if you remove them from the pool, you wouldn't need as many teachers and you would have more classes. Are there any other times that you can think of when we make an exception and excuse AP students from other work that is assigned to everyone else because they are here doing too much? Well, there is the AP language class that can get a student out of college right. But there's a requirement that goes with that too, isn't it? Does every single person who takes AP language get out of college right? No. No. So. Are there any other times where, because of the additional workload that AP students, that they're excused then from some other assignments that applies to all of their students? Are there any other opportunities for that that you know? No, I'm asking is it, are there any other times when we do that, when we say, because these AP students have got so much on them, we're not going to make them do what the other students have to do? We can't attest to that. We don't have the research here. Can I propose? You're, I realize you're arguing exemption. Would you be willing to do an alternative assignment? We used to have the AP students lead reading experts with the junior high. Again, the idea is to lessen the workload for these students so they can focus on their AP studies. And certainly leading leaders would be beneficial for the younger students, I think, but it'd come at the cost of increasing the stress you have to know the book inside and out to, to you know, lead the group. Leading. Yes, certainly. I think you all who have led groups can say that it takes more work to lead it and make up the quiz and everything. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you.